Next, we head to the S. James Foxman Justice Center in Daytona Beach, Florida. We are ready to go for on the Andrea Cook judge. All right, Miss Cook, come on up. The woman being sworn in is 18-year-old right Keandria right Cook. Cook's in court today to receive a sentence for using a dating app to set up a robbery right. that we, uh, ended with another teen being shot. Faces. The teen survived. Right. Cook has accepted a plea deal that will drop a conspiracy charge, which carried a maximum penalty of life in prison, but counts of carjacking, attempted carjacking with a deadly weapon, and felony battery are still in play. All right, come on up, Ms. Cook. You get to say the final words. I just want to say that I'm sorry to have been wrong that her son had me shot because I didn't even know he was going to get shot. Um, my boyfriend and his friends did try me to do this. I didn't even know what was going on until it was, I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. I just want to say that I asked the for forgiveness for a second chance so I can get out. And finish school and I can be my mama proud because I'm going to be her first child to bring from high school to phone. <laughs> and I just want to make my mama proud. That's it. Cook now prepares to hear her sentence as her loved ones look on. Ms. Cook, you're before the court for sentencing. A couple of things uh, going in your favor. One, you didn't hold the firearm during these episodes. The, the second is that um, the victim uh, luckily survived. That being said, this was uh, intentional. It was an orchestrated ambush, and you are a main part of that. And for that, I'm going to go ahead and adjudicate you guilty of all three charges, sentence you to 20 years in state prison. <laughs> As to the, first two counts. the crying you hear is coming from Cook's mother. The sentence much more severe than they expected. It turns out that Cook and her mother's reactions were so intense because they believed the plea deal meant no prison time. Judge Foxman allows her to enter a new plea deal, citing miscommunication between Cook and the assistant public defender. As a result of that new deal... I think he got good and I think he got potential. I'll lose sight of that. Cook's sentence is reduced to 11 years in prison.